Well, hello there, folks. Back again with another video. Papa G, back again. With another compost gardening video. This is a channel that I want to motivate, create, facilitate, and bless you with a motivating, elevating, money-making way of, of living. <laughs> uh, let me get up from here, off my, getting up off one knee, praying to the Most High that He bless my efforts here. What I'm doing here is smoothing out some leaves for my compost garden garden so hopefully they won't blow back in my hole in the holes and cover up my seeds i've planted sweet corn here in my brand new compost garden i planted some a while back and uh i found out that the uh leaves that i left piled up on the side of them just kind of blew back in them. Blew back in on top of my seed. Covered them up. And at that time, I wasn't checking them every day. And so I wasn't able to catch it. Anyway, I caught it this time. I planted some bush beans over there in my other compost garden. And they're coming up. I didn't plant them so deep this time. Over here, I planted sweet corn and okra, and uh, they didn't come up. I saw a spot, a spot or two where some bush beans was trying to come up, but they was trying to fight up, fight through all those leaves that had blown into the holes. Because you know, when it storms, stormy weather comes, uh, leaves and stuff blow. They blow, and they they blow. Sometimes they blow into things you, in in places you don't want them to blow in. And so this time, I'm making a better effort of watching, checking them daily, and making sure that leaves aren't aren't are not pouring blowing back, <laughs> and not blowing back in into the garden. It's summertime here. I'm in Mississippi, Gulfport, Mississippi is where I'm at and uh, where I'm making these videos from. Go and check my uh, Gulf of Mexico videos. I took y'all to the beach one day, like I told y'all I would do, and uh, had a good time there. And those, those videos seems to be doing better than any others because I'm still working on this compost gardening. And so your reason for subscribing to come back to see this is to check out how my experiment's going. I'm, I'm, I've, I found a way to grow organic food without any chemicals using what the method I call compost gardening. And so, you guys check back and uh, see how it comes out. I'm sweating like a, like a, like a, oh boy, just, just sweating. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm spreading these leaves out now away from the holes where I plant it so that uh, they'll stand a better chance to see the sweet corn we stand a better chance of coming up because it's rough coming out here sweating to put them in the ground and then you find out that they just messing around they hadn't been coming up but anyway i'm going i'm checking them every day now since i've learned my lesson i'm coming out here and uh getting all the leaves out of the holes that might be them blown before the storm that uh, because this time of the year, 
you have storms almost daily. It's hot. <laughs> it's probably in about the, the mid-90s now. They said it, was, it would probably get up to mid-90s. And uh, here on the Gulf Coast, mid-90s, along with the wiping sweat now, along with the humidity, it's pretty hot. But uh, I noticed the other day when I was down on the beach that wind was blowing constantly, and uh, it was pretty cool down there. Ah, I can I can remember it as a boy coming up. Oh, I didn't sing my intro. Intro. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought I'd saw a bull raining around the hills and mounts. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollow, aim up around the merry streets. With the rain ting ting and a ting 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 and a through the way a bow wow wow and a moo moo moo. And the heap of people that I do know. And through the way we'd run play ball and through the way we'd run. <laughs> I'll sing the outro in a minute. I'll sing that for you two times. Stick around to hear it. Come on now. Stick around. All right. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. I just got through replanting this. Whew. Now I'm sweating. Whew. I'm a 67-year-old. Ah. Still getting my exercise. In the mornings, I go and work out. And uh, anyway, st stand in shape. Because for you older people, older guys, I had retired and uh, was sitting around the house, wasn't doing nothing. And uh, one day I got to cutting some limbs and uh, and when, I, when it came time to, to transfer the limbs to the front of the yard, boy, I was running out of gas every time I went, took a load. And it didn't used to be like that. <laughs> it did not used to be like that. Ah. But anyway, I'm planning on cutting this down here. This is blocking my garden. It's blocking my food. And I like, cause I like to eat. Anyway, that's what I've just got through doing, though. Y'all check back with me to uh, see how it goes. I'm experimenting, and you guys can use it for your advantage, to your advantage. I'm telling you, those are tomato, some tomato plants coming up over there. And uh, I'll walk over here and show y'all these tomato plants are coming up where well, they growing <sighs> I'll show y'all these are some bush beans I planted the other day and like I was telling y'all I found out from this that I need to check on them every day to make sure because you see they came up sporadically and uh I, I, I planted some more the other day, uh, last Thursday, I think. So now I can see, see some progress of them coming up. I can see a little progress with them popping out. Let's see, here's one right here. You can see it. Getting ready to pop up and pop out and show out. Show out for this compost guard. This is the eggplant here. Go, growing and blooming. Expect to have some eggplants on it pretty soon. This is a potato plant here. Sweet potato. It was sprouting out. And uh, my wife gave it to me and said, you know, this all will grow. Yes, you know, and I'm saying, especially in the compost garden, look at these nice tomatoes here. I'm dripping all over my camera. Anyway, it's time for some lunch. <laughs> uh, like I told y'all, it's in the mid-90s. Look at those tomato plants. Tomatoes coming out. 
And uh, whew, I'm not young as I used to be. I used to do stuff like this all day for hours and then before I even got tired. Hey, things are different now. But uh, I'm, st I'm staying active. Oh yeah, I didn't finish my tree story, my limb story. I got to dragging those limbs around the house, all the way around here. And, uh, whew. Man, I had to sit down. After every load, I was sweating. Sweat was dripping as good, I was sweating. Cause uh, I'm told that if you stop sweating, whew, then you're really in trouble. Because uh, it's probably you're probably bordering on a heat stroke if you ain't, haven't already had one yet. This is for you older guys <laughs> and younger too. Y'all better pay attention to your bodies too. But anyway, I thank y'all for for watching. Uh, y'all bless my content with some subscribes likes uh these are scuba nads here scuba nads see them there ah. yeah scuba nine a muscadine some people call them but uh y'all check back with me and see how my compost gardening is going but anyway, I was dragging limbs around this house, around the corner here, and uh, out to the street there. And boy, I had to sit down every time I took a load. So after that, you know, it felt like I was dying, to tell you the truth. And so after that, I've been out here for a couple, probably a couple of hours planting. But uh, after that, I... Uh, I started exercise. I said, whoo, I don't want to leave here this early. And so I went to uh, exercising. Whew. Going to Planet Fitness and exercising. Anyway, I said this is a channel to make money with it too. Because Centflix derived, excuse me, <laughs> I drank a bunch of water and Gatorade before I came out here. That's the, uh, that's the results that were coming up with air belching. <laughs> but anyway, y'all excuse me. Uh, yeah, I got, to, I started going to Planet Fitness. And so now, my health has really improved. Y'all think I'm breathing hard now. You should have heard, heard me that day <laughs> when I was dragging all those limbs from around the house in the heat, sweating like a, ooh, a Texan in the hot desert sun out of uh, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Las Vegas air, or whatever you call them, something <laughs> out there in the desert. But anyway, oh yeah, Scentflix is a name derived from me coming up with the idea that instead of people just giving each other likes and comments on for their uh, creativity on, on social media, that if anybody, whenever anybody take the name Scentflix and, and and uh, put it on their channel somewhere, on their videos when they upload them. When other people recognize that they've uploaded uh, a Setflix networking video, they'd be able to collaborate with them through subscribing, uh, liking, commenting, and sharing all of that on the videos that they watch. And uh, in addition, they could pay them for watching the videos with Centflix one cent or more. 
I know everybody's hoping for more, especially us new new newcomers to YouTube and things like this. But uh, I opened this channel a few weeks ago at the age of 67. So uh, y'all excuse my, uh, anyway, y'all know how it is. Keep living. <laughs> As my father-in-law used to say, he used to always say, you know, you just, just keep on saying good morning. Keep on saying good morning and you're gonna see where I'm coming from one day. It's good to be able to say, keep saying good morning. Yes, indeed, it sure is. I've said good morning for six or seven years and uh, still saying it. Getting back stronger to be able to say it some more because, uh, hey, I'm, I'm exercising now and I'm keeping myself active. Yes, keeping myself active, even though I've retired from having to show up to jobs every day. I'm playing it smart now, y'all. I created this channel in order to create some passive income. It might take a while for me to get there. That's okay. Hey, it took me a while. It took me 40-something years of, of working and waking up in the morning and not wanting to leave the house. Every morning, didn't want to leave the house. I tell you what, I fought through 40-some-odd years. <laughs> but anyway, I'm trying to work smart now. Work smarter instead of harder. But uh, I, uh, I like the idea of making passive income. Because once you load up your videos after you've created them and, uh, and load them up, then you're able to uh, sit back and once you get monetized, monetized, <laughs> monetized, and uh, monetized, you'll be able to sit back and, and watch your video create wealth, create money for you without any more efforts on that certain video because you've done the job with it. But anyway, I'm trying to stop, I'm trying to stop making my video so long you know so y'all hopefully stay interested to the end oh yeah watch the commercials watch the ads that's another perk of, of becoming a Netflix uh networker yeah people are uh are, are gaining the the uh what you call that uh see like when you're in a village custom or whatever custom or uh, it's becoming customary to, to even watch your ads for you because when you, when we watch the ads for each other we're able to create create more wealth for fellow Netflix networkers give it a try you might be thankful one day and want to cry tears of joy hallelujah Outro. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought I saw a raining around the hills and mount. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollowing around the merry street. With a ring ting tang and a ting 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 and a through the way, a bow wow wow and a moo 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 and a heap of people that I do know. And through the way we'd run, play ball, and through the way we'd run. Two. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought I saw bull raining around the hills and mounts. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollowing around the merry streets. With a ring ting ting and a ting 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 and a through the way, a bow wow wow and a moo 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 and a heap of people that I do know. And through the way we'd run play ball. And through the way, big finish, we would Come. Have a good time, good day, good rest of your day or your night or wherever you are in the world. Hallelujah.